creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a decor piece that is so budget friendly that makes for a perfect decor piece to go on that wall that has a lot of space that you really need to fill and you just don't know what to fill it with. This piece today is so budget friendly and it's going to cost you $5 to make it and the outcome is amazing. This is one of those decor pieces that if you made it in three different sizes and you put it up above a couch, it would be an amazing focal point in a room. I can't wait to show you what I have in mind for this wall decor piece using felt that's going to cost you under $5 to make. So let's get to it. For this DIY, I'll be using a total of 19 pieces of felt, 18 copper pieces, and one beige. I buy my felt when it's on sale at Joann's because you can get it five for a dollar. No sense in paying 50 cents a piece when you can just stock up on it and wait for it to go on sale at Joann's for 20 cents a piece. I'll also be using 18 pieces of black pipe cleaner and one of Dollar Tree's plastic chargers. I'm going to start this DIY off by taking a plain piece of copy paper because I'm making a template. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm all about templates. Making a template makes DIYing a lot easier. I'm going to fold my copy paper in half. Now I've got this fold here. On the side of the fold, I'm going to take and just freehand a petal, a large petal the size of the paper. Now don't worry too much about perfection. You can tell mine is nowhere near perfect. You can always alter the size and the shape of it when you're cutting it. As I'm doing right here, I'm not going along the line because I can see I just didn't much like the shape. So I'm just gonna cut and kind of shape it as I cut a bit more. And there we've just made a template for a large flower petal. By folding your paper in half, you only really have to worry about making one side and then when you cut it, you've got a symmetrical petal and that just makes it a lot easier. Now taking our felt, I'm gonna pretty much just do the same thing with the felt that I did with the copy paper. I'm gonna fold it in half, then I'm gonna place my template on top of my felt along the side where the fold is and I'm gonna trace it. Then just cut it out and I'm gonna do this to all 18 pieces of the copper felt. I'm gonna use the pipe cleaner to give each of the petals a bit of sturdiness so they stand up. So I'm gonna cut them down to size just by cutting off about an inch and a half of the pipe cleaner. And then I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna run it along one side of the pipe cleaner and I'm gonna hot glue it to the back of the felt. Now when I hot glued the pipe cleaner down, I didn't do it directly down the center. Right along this bottom edge here, I kind of put it off to the side. So just don't do it down the center because we're gonna fold the bottom of our flower in to give it just some dimension. And if the pipe cleaner is right down the center, you're not gonna be able to fold it in. So once I folded it in, I just hot glued it to kind of keep it in place. And here we have just made a felt flower with our pipe cleaner and it's gonna allow our petals to stand up. And again, I'm gonna do this to all 18 pieces of the copper felt, giving us 18 flower petals. The beige felt is gonna be the center of our flower, so I'm gonna fold it in half so I can cut it in half, giving me two even pieces. Then I'm gonna fold each of the pieces in half long ways and I'm gonna hot glue the two sides together. And on the folded side of the beige felt, I'm gonna cut slits down the whole length of each of the two pieces. Using some hot glue, I'm gonna place the hot glue on this bottom edge here, and I'm gonna start to roll in my strip. And I'm gonna continue rolling. I'm gonna add both strips together. Where one ends, I'm gonna pick up with the next strip. I started to realize that 
two pieces weren't gonna be enough for the center of my flower. So because I had a second piece of this beige belt on hand already, I decided to cut two more strips, giving me a total of four strips that I cut slits in for the center of this flower. Okay, I'm definitely happy with the size of this now. Using four pieces definitely was the way to go. Before, it just wasn't gonna be proportioned with the petals. Now, I feel like making the center a bit bigger, it's all gonna be proportioned. I'm gonna make sure before I put this in the center of my flower just to kind of pull out some of the pieces that got folded in and fluff it up a bit. Now all that's left to do is to put this together. So I'm gonna take the charger and on the back of this plastic charger from the Dollar Tree, I'll be using these sawtooth hangers. These were from a previous project that I just recently did. It was the Moss Barlow DIY that I did for my front door. I took these off of the back of the marble plaques from the Dollar Tree and I saved them because these always come in handy for other DIYs like this one. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna screw this into the back of the charger. I'm not using hot glue for this. Because this is a plastic charger, it's gonna come off. And so I really wanna make sure that this stays in so when I hang it up, it doesn't come apart and fall off and I ruin all my hard work. Now on the front side, you're gonna see that the screws did go through, but not to worry, it's not gonna show, it's fine. Now taking all 18 of the petals, Using these two screws here as a guide to the top of my flower, this is where I'm gonna place my first petal. And I'm gonna use this inner ring here, the edge, as a guide to the first row of flowers that I place. I'm using hot glue on this. Because this is felt, the hot glue is gonna to stick to this charger nicely. You don't need to worry about it coming off. When I place my second petal, I'm gonna just barely overlap it onto the petal before, if that makes any sense. You don't want a gap between it. You just barely want those sides to overlap just a bit. I'm gonna do that around the whole outside of this charger, and this is gonna be our first row of flowers. Once we've got our outer row of petals done, now it's time to place the inner row, and I'm gonna go in just about three inches to the center of the charger, and I wanna offset my petals in this row from the outside row. You don't wanna line them up evenly. You kinda of wanna place them where the two outside petals meet. Again, I hope I'm not making this too confusing, but you can kinda of see what I'm doing. And of course, the inside petals, we're only gonna need a limited amount because it's a smaller circle. Now all that's left to do is to place the center of the flower, and that's it. This is such a quick and easy DIY. The outcome is absolutely amazing. And really, it took me maybe an hour to do total. Now let's go hang this up because I can hardly wait for you to see how stinking amazing this looks up on the wall. And here we have it. I think this looks amazing. The total size of this is 30 inches in diameter. So it is a nice size. I love the color of this. It goes perfect with the decor of my home. I actually did this in several different colors. I did it in this dark brown as well. And in the center, I tried to add just a center piece just to see if I could accent it a little bit more. It wasn't my favorite. I don't think it looks horrible, but I like it without it. You could also do this using scrapbooking paper. This is a wood farmhouse scrapbooking paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. You can get scrapbooking paper five for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. The great thing about using scrapbooking paper is you don't need to use the pipe cleaner on the back because the paper is stiff enough that it's gonna hold its shape and it's gonna stay in place. You could even do this using fabric with fabric, you just have to add a bit of heat and bond to the back of it to make the fabric a bit stiffer so the petals will stay up. How beautiful is this felt flower? And what is amazing about this flower is it can be made to suit any decor style so easily just by changing the color of the felt. There is so many different types of felt that have glitter in them that are metallic, that are just bright, bold colors 
These flowers would look adorable in a little girl's room with the bright pinks and yellows and oranges. And just like I did it today with the browns, it makes it look homey, it makes it look rustic, it gives it a bit of that farmhouse look by using some wood scrapbooking paper like I did today. There are endless possibilities when making these flowers. And what's great is if you made it in three different sizes, like I said, and you put this above a couch, it would absolutely be gorgeous and it would be a piece that leave people talking. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 6,000 likes because each and every one of those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.